All right, year 12, just a quick video running through how to find the variance of a continuous random variable once you've been given the probability density function. Um, so just quickly running through, remember variance is just the standard deviation squared. Um, so we, we, we've got to remember that. So if I ask you how to find, you know, given this, find the standard deviation, we're going to take the square root of whatever answer we get for our variance. When it comes to variance, how do we calculate it? Well, variance is um, got to do with the, um, the expected value and what we're going to substitute into our expected value is the score minus the population mean squared. From discrete random variables, what we saw was we get each score. From the each score, we took away the, the, the population mean. We squared that. And then we multiplied it by the probability of that score happening and we added all of them together. Um, very similar again with a continuous random variable, summing together all those infinite possibilities of the score minus the population mean squared multiplied by its probability. That's how we find it um, using integration. Um, the other way we could do it and it's a lot more effective is let's go we find the variable by getting the expected value and how we found the expected value substitute x squared in at that first step for finding the expected value minus the expected value squared so what does that look like let's jump into an example straight away here on the left hand or the right hand side of the board um, this is the example straight away from your booklet, it's a uh, worked example eight. So consider the following probability density function, that P of X is equal to one on 20 for values of X between 25 and 45 and zero otherwise. Determine the variance of P of X. Well, before we can determine variance, we need to determine the expected value because um, we're gonna come through and use this idea of expected value. So. Remembering the expected value of x is um, each score multiplied by its probability and sum all those things together. So for a continuous random variable, that is between the boundaries of the score multiplied, score multiplied by its probability with respect to x. So here what we have is x times 1 on 20 dx, which becomes the integral between 45 and 25 of x on 20 dx. All right. When we evaluate this integral here, that gives us our expected value. What we're going to want to do, though, is use, remember this step, because it's at this step, when we come over here for our variance that we're gonna put x squared into here and evaluate that part again, instead of having to deal with all of this. Um, just for fun, that, that is going to equal 35 when you evaluate that, that integration. All right, so we haven't determined the variance yet, all we've done is we've found the, the expected value. So coming back over here, um, I'll do it in black. The variance of X is gonna be equal to substitute X squared into the expected value minus the expected value squared. So what we're going to do is integrate between 25 and 45 of x squared on 20 dx. Remember that we said the expected value we'd find by integrating between 45 and 25 of x over 20. So at this stage here you substitute x squared in. So integrating that with respect to x squared minus the expected value 
squared and our expected value was 35. So we're going to subtract 35 squared. Going through that, the integral of x squared on 20, add 1 to the power becomes x cubed, multiply by 1 third, so then 1 third on 20, so we're going to have x cubed over 60, 20 times 3 is 60. Evaluate that between 45 and 25, and we're going to subtract 35 squared, which is 1,225. So now what we need to do to find the variance is to now just complete this, this evaluation. So what we have is 45 or 45 cubed on 60 minus 25 cubed on 60 minus 1, 2, 2, 5. When we evaluate that, we get 100 over so the expected value of this probability density function was 35. Using the expected value of 35, we determined that the variance of x is going to be 100 over 3. The standard deviation, remember lowercase sigma represents standard deviation, is just going to be the square root of 100 on 3 and standard deviation is representing a distance, it's representing um, a spread of scores so we only want the positive value of it and that will be our standard deviation. Um, for fun, let's go through now and quickly evaluate the variance using the integration, that first, that first step of integration that we, we saw with our variance. So just back over here on the right hand side I'll, I'll rub all this out. So, um, remembering that in that, that first part we looked at that variance of x is equal to, this would be between 25 and 45 of um, the score minus the population, the score minus the population mean multiplied by its probability with respect to x here. So putting at some of the values that we know, we know that it's 25, 45, x minus, well our expected value was 35. If our expected value is 35, that means the population mean is 35, remember expected value and mean, they, they're the same value there. Squared multiplied by 1 on 20, differentiate all of that with respect to x. One thing to be careful of though, when we are doing this, notice we have reverse chain rule in here. So remember all our skills that we need to, when we had to integrate using our reverse chain rule, we needed to be careful of what was the derivative of the inside well, the derivative of the inside here is just the number one. So if we divide by one, it's not going to change our overall um, integration here. But just be careful. We've got a reverse chain rule here for, for other functions that may look similar to this. Um, what am I going to do here? I'm going to factor out that constant of um, one on 20 out the front. Um, so take that, then that's going to be just leave me x minus 35 all squared dx. Remember, we can use our reverse chain rule, which is add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and remember to also divide by the derivative of the inside. Um, and the derivative of the inside is 1. So that is going to equal to 1 on 20 evaluated the um, x minus 35 cubed, add 1 to the power, divide by 3 times 1. Remember, it's 3 times 1. So divide by 3 because of our new power. 
and also divide by one because that's what the derivative of the inside. Remember, with chain rule, it's the derivative of the inside times the outside. So if I'm multiplying by the inside, when I'm integrating, I've got to remember to divide by the inside between 45 and 25. And when we put those values in and evaluate that, funny enough, we also arrive at 100 over 3. Um, need to know it um, in terms of it's an application of integration. Um, putting x squared in, it's a much simpler integration to complete. So I, I would be preferential to use this one, but need to understand you can still be given something like this and asked to integrate this. Be really careful of those reverse chain rules. Um, there we go guys, we'll just leave that there. Hopefully that helps explain how to find the variance of a um, continuous random variable. Um, the next video, what we're going to look at is how to find a CDF, a cumulative density function, given the fact of a PDF. Catch you later.